So, as you may or may not know, I had to reformat my PC recently, and this was a casualty, I'm afraid. And I really hate having to give up on this. You'll see in a second. This was the save file I was able to recover. This is what I got. So, yeah, before we explored, back when we still had a big old mitten for our world map, back before all the horrible nastiness fighting over this city, Japan was still a thing <laughs> on our world. <sighs> oh. I mean, we were all the way out in like here. Okay, maybe not that far. Wait, didn't we have canned food? Didn't we have a railroad? No, I'm confused. We weren't quite that far yet, but we were out in this. I know we were. I know we were out in this area. <sighs> so I'm going to give my thoughts on the Realism Mods latest patch. I guess we can say I beat a game and a half of it. God, I hate giving up on this. Alright, so... I do not really believe that three cities is plausible to play as. I just, I don't think that could be done. I had been trying for six before I realized I had to have at least seven to use um, the National University and uh, uh, stock market and stuff. So I think, I think seven is the minimum, the minimum number of cities for Realism Invictus at this point. Um... So the new mechanics that were introduced in this patch, specifically the science ones, they're a bit punishing for larger empires. Well, not exactly even per se. They punish expansion temporarily is I guess how I would phrase it. See, I appreciate that smaller empires and vassals can keep up technologically. I appreciate that a lot. Um... Normally, when you play the game, there's always a consolidation period. You conquer, and then you consolidate. Um, and it, it puts you a little bit behind temporarily while you've got all these cities that don't have a lot of good buildings. Now that the science is impacted as well, until you can get the science up in those cities, your, your research suffers, and then you have to play catch-up. It makes it harder to build wonders and harder to get, uh, get ahead in science when you're conquering. It makes the consolidation periods longer, I think. Um, though I didn't see the late game with just seven cities. Uh, I don't think that I would be able... Well, part of it was I wasn't getting the great scientists, but even so, I don't think I could get too, too far ahead technologically. I haven't even mentioned how great the sound is in Civ Four. I mean, you zoom out and you get the wind... You zoom out to this level, you can hear some sound effects. But if you get real close, you really hear all the sounds. Civ 4 was just such a great game. That was being picked up by my audio, right? I hope it was. Anyway, um, Realism Invictus is still my favorite mod of all time. Um, but, and this was an improvement on it, as always, but I'm probably going to go, I've, I've kind of had my fill of it for a while again, because it's, you, you play it a little, for a bit, and then you're like, oh man, yeah, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go play a different thing now. It's not quite as 
for example, uh, the Fall from Heaven 2 mod tends to be a, mo a lot shorter. The tech tree is shorter, wider, but shorter. Uh, and it tends to, you know, this is a very comprehensive, full experience going through all of this. So yeah, I d I, we didn't even see the late game in that last game I played. It keeps things keep changing as you get further in the text. It's it's amazing. Ah. <sighs> so I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing some Caster of Magic starting Wednesday. There'll be no 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 game tonight. I'm afraid. Sorry. I hate to give up on this. I really do because. So I wanted to finish this, you know. I, I, I'm not even big on the cultural victory, but it's nice once in a while to switch from a conquest to a culture or space race or something. Um, it's one of the things that makes this a little bit different from some other strategy games is some of that variety. But, uh, yeah. Then I'm going to go and try some more Fall from Heaven 2 because I really want to explore it more. There's a ton of Civ 4 mods i got to check out. But I want to finish exploring that one. And I want to try the mod mods for it. But not until I've got a real good feeling for the base Fall from Heaven 2. But there's one mod mod that if any of you are aware, if there's something like this that exists, please tell me. Because possibly my favorite thing about this mod... Realism Invictus, the single, if I had to name just one thing, it would be the way it handles its military. Because in Base Civ 4, you could have a, st I'd seen stacks literally of a hundred plus units thumping their way across the map. There's no strategy in that. It's just, let's just pile a, p a gigantic number of things into one tile and push it. Here, though, when we've got these different aids and overcrowding, there's tactics for making small select armies built correctly and supporting them. And when an army gets caught, caught out in a field or something without the right stuff and gets torn apart, and you know, there's there's a whole thing going. Oh, and the light cavalry and the heavy cavalry with collateral damage and all of that. It's it's great. If there's a mod mod that does something like that to fall from heaven too, I I would really com like it. Because my biggest grief with that mod thus far is, well, here's 150 skeletons attacking you now. And you're stuck watching the animations forever. And when it finally ends, you're like, oh, oh, it's finally over? Okay, I have to turn off defensive combat so I can't see it. And then you're blind. Did at the start of each turn you're like, did they did they attack? Well, who did they attack? Are all my stacks still okay? Is anybody in these stacks dead? Uh, cause you don't know if C units are dying. You can't see that happen. I hate defensive auto combat. I really do. I don't mind offensive auto combat so bad. Let me make, make it clear what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Quick combat, sorry. I hate this one. I don't mind this one so ma much because I can see what's happening. But this one I hate. And I feel obligated to use it when I'm running Fall From Heaven 2. So somebody's got a mod mod that decreases the number of units. Ideally with a system like this. But just to have less... Less... It's really the undead. It's really just, and I know the undead are all about having huge numbers, but in this case, it's too, too much. They went too far. And like I said, it's not really their fault. It's more of the base Civ 4 problem than their mod. But anyway, if you, got, if you know of a mod mod that'll do something towards that effect, I would be most appreciative. Um, so bunch of other really cool Civ 4 mods I want to talk about and ones I've never tried that I want to look into. So there'll definitely be more Civ 4 in the future. But let's check in on good old Caster of Magic on Wednesday. And until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye.